Hello and welcome to this video edition of the Stock Charts Mailbag. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to create an advanced decline line. So what is the advanced decline line? Well that is a breadth indicator and it uses advanced decline percent which is the number of advances less the number of declines divided by the total number of issues to create a cumulative line that basically measures the degree of participation. And StockCharts.com calculates AD percent for a number of major indices and also the nine sector SPDRs. And here's a view from our symbol catalog and you can see we do it for the Dow transports, the Dow utilities. We also do it for the materials sector, the energy sector. So you can plot the advanced decline line for a number of key indices and ETFs and this will help you in your analysis. Okay, in this example, what I've done is I have entered the AD percent symbol for the S&P 500 and you can see it up there, dollar SPX ADP. And I press update and I get a chart. But you can see that this chart is quite volatile, if you will. And that's because each day it moves either above or below zero. Sometimes it's above zero for a few days then it goes below zero. So it's a very erratic indicator plotted on a daily basis. And in order to smooth that out, we need to make it a cumulative indicator. And the way we do that is we scroll down below the sharp chart and you'll see the chart attributes section. We have period daily, that's okay, and then chart type. I've got solid line now, but I wanna change that to cumulative. So I click on this indicator window and I click cumulative and then I press update. And then you can see we have the S&P 500 AD line. And this is a lot easier to analyze than the choppy indicator I showed you before. Now you probably wanna compare this line to the S&P 500. And the way we can do that is we can add the S&P 500 as another plot and we can put it behind the indicator or we can put it above or below. And to do that, you scroll down to the indicator window and we have no indicators so far, but I'm gonna select price as my indicator. And I'm gonna get the S&P 500. I can put any symbol I want there and I have to position it below, above, or behind. And I'm gonna position it to behind so I can compare it quite easily with the AD line. And I also want to change the style and the color so it shows up a little better. And I'm going to change that to a dashed line and I'm going to make it red. And I press update and the chart will refresh. And now you can see we have the AD line as the black solid line and we have the S&P 500 as the red dotted line. And so we can compare this indicator with movements in the S&P 500. So that concludes this mailbag on how to create the AD line. That should help you a lot with your charting and analysis in the future. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.